Hey guys, Target with Cycle with FPV, and we are now on to part two. And as you can see, I've moved my picture from up there to down here because I want you to see up there where you have, uh, I'm gonna unplug this actually real quickly, where you have that drop down menus up there for your um, connection to your ports. You have an update firmware button, you have a connect button. I don't wanna block those. So I've moved this down here, so, but still pay attention to what we're gonna do. All right, so we've loaded beta flight. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Dow RC a flight controller, okay? This is a F405 a flight controller. And the chip right here is an STM F405 uh, processor, right? So STM electronics processor. So what we want to do is when we plug this into the computer, uh, we're going to see that it actually detects it, but it's not going to load the STM uh, virtual uh, port or the COM port driver that's needed to have this function properly. And I'll explain this in just a second, but I'm going to show you. It'll be easier if I show you. One thing I do want to stress ahead of time is I am using a USB, a micro USB cable. Okay, and this is a data cable. You must have a data cable. Do not just use a charging cable because you will not be able to send the data back and forth between your flight controller and your computer and it will not work. So please go find a data cable. Uh, usually an Android phone will have a data cable so you can back up your phone or an Amazon device or any other devices will usually have data cables for uh, software updates, etc. Make sure you have it. If you follow these steps and you can't connect, chances are you have the wrong cable. All right, but well, let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to minimize beta flight and I'm going to close these screens out. I kind of jumped the gun here just to make sure all my software was loaded. What I want you to do is I want you to find your start button here on the right, on the bottom left corner, I mean. Right click on it and left click on run. When this dialog box comes up, I want you to type in the word control and I want you to hit OK. What you're going to see here is device manager. Now yours may look like this because it's in category view. It may look like this because it's in small icons view. Change it to large icons view, okay? And once you do that in alphabetical order, I want you to find device manager. One click and it will open on the left hand side over here, okay? So here's the most important part. Once this opens, what I'm gonna kind of show you what we're looking for, you don't have a COM port. If you look here, there's nothing that says ports. It goes from network adapters to portable devices to print queues. When this is plugged in and it's working properly, you will see a ports uh, option here as well. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. You'll hear Windows accept it, uh, uh, the, the audible of it being plugged in, so pay attention to that, and you'll see the light on the flight controller. Here's the audible, and here's the light. You can see it's, it's lit up right there, okay? And now if you look at the device manager right here, you can see COM port, okay? That's the ports we're looking for. However, this is just using the generic Windows driver. And what we want to do is we want to go for this STM uh, processor. We want to use uh, the STM driver that's provided. So here's what we're going to do. Excuse me. Here's what we're going to do next. We're going to go back to beta flight to show you something real quickly. Beta flight gives you the option to click right here, okay? And if you click that, it's going to open your browser and it's going to take you to the STM website where you could actually uh, download the driver but to do that and I'll show you this real quickly this is where you'll find the most up-to-date because they'll keep updating these drivers all right and sorry my computer's still slow if you scroll down we're gonna give it a second here because there's a button that's right here see where it says get the latest okay if you click get latest it's gonna ask you to, to log in you have to accept their agreement and you have to log in for this video, I've added the, the link of this most recent update, which was uh, July 20th, so uh, 2021. I've already downloaded it, and I've added it to our website. So let me show you where you can go. So if we go back to Cyclone FPV, all right, and uh, we scroll down like we did for the beta flight, and we scroll down to software links, and you'll see here that it says STM32 driver downloads. Don't click this, because that's gonna take you back to that page where you need to log in. But what you can do is drop down arrow, and I've included the Windows 7, I've separated them for size purposes. There's Windows 7, uh, 32 and 64 bit, and Windows 8. Now the Windows 8 will work on Windows 10, and that's the one I'm gonna use, okay? Windows 7 may work as well, I don't know, I haven't tested it, but I am gonna tell you that I'm gonna go with the Windows 8. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and click right here, okay? And this is gonna start the download. You can see in the bottom left corner right here, okay? And again, just like with the beta flight file, we are gonna organize these properly. So go ahead and click the arrow and click show in folder, okay? And this is the file we just downloaded. So we're going to, uh, we're going to right click, or we could just go up here, I guess, highlight it or right click. I usually right click and click on cut. And I'm gonna go to my drones files, double click and click on paste, okay? Now in here, I'm gonna make another new folder. So let me get ready to type, okay? And so in here, I'm going to make a new, I'm going to click on the new folder option and I'm going to type uh, STM uh, drivers. Okay. And I'm going to drag this into that folder because you will download more as time goes on. They will have updates. So keep them organized. Now this is a compressed, so a compressed folder. So we want to uncompress it, right? So let's go ahead and right click on it. Left click on extract all. 
Make sure you have your checkbox here that says show extracted files when complete and click extract. Okay. The new folder is now here without that zipper on it. It's uncompressed now. And it will, when I said show extracted files, it's showing me here. Now I'm running a 64 bit and most of you guys are going to be running 64 bit. So you can just click on the 64. If you if you click it and you can't run it, it'll stop you. Okay. So go ahead. I'm going to click on the 64 bit right here and I'm going to have it install. Now, as it's installing, you'll get this message right here. What I want you to do is I want you to pay attention. Go back to your device manager, this little icon, leave it up on the screen while you're installing the software and pay attention to this driver, right? Have it visible, leave your flight controller plugged in and have it visible. Okay. And again, this is for those people that are just having, they, I get people to say, I can't connect to beta flight. My flight controller won't do it. I can't do a, a firmware update. This is the step. These are the steps to get through that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this install. So here's the, uh, the install has now extracted their next uh, level of, of software. I'm going to click next and I'm just going to leave it as uh, anyone here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just put my name again. Uh, C F P V. That's fine. Let's do that and click next. And we're going to install it in the virtual COM port drive, wherever it says. That's fine. So we're going to watch it install. Now, once it installs, it's going to run another package. So hang tight one second. And I think that's going to pop up. Yep, right there. Okay. I'm going to drag this out of the way so we can watch this screen. Just click next and watch what happens right here. Watch this. Okay. Now we're going to click finish. Okay. And it's going to be removing the backup files and watch our device manager. Okay. Uh, it says, do I want to check for program updates? I'm going to click, you can click yes if you want. I'll click finish. I don't think there's going to be, okay, that's fine. Um, I don't think there's going to be any uh, updates. So now we have our STM Electronics Virtual COM port COM8. Okay. Now I have an asterisk. I have a, a notification on mine and I'm not really sure why that's there. So I'm just going to unplug my controller real quickly. Okay. And that should disappear. And then I'm going to plug it back in. And let's see what we have. I may have to restart my computer. Maybe not. There you go. It's gone. Everything looks good right here. Everything looks great. Okay, so now you can see we have the STM Electronics Virtual COM port COM8. And if we click back to our beta flight here, you see how you have COM8? Watch this. I'm going to click connect and I'll just apply custom defaults for the time being here to my port and watch what happens. Sorry, it's, it's loading some software here. So we're going to see it come back to COM8. I'll click connect and don't worry about this dialog box just yet. We'll get into that with more of our setup. But look at what we have. Now you can see on the screen, I'm going to hold the flight controller up and look, as I move it, it moves on the screen. You see? And we are now connected. So that is how you handle loading your driver for um, the STM32 versions of your flight controller. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here in just a second and we're going to do the other option, which is going to be the, sorry about that, the CP2102 version. I'll stop this. Let me go. Let me go turn that down real quick. That is super loud. My, my apologies. Woo, that is loud. Scared me. Okay, so the other option is to do the CP2102, and we're going to do that in the next video coming up here. It'll be very short, so I'll see you shortly, guys. Okay, take care, and I'll talk to you in just a minute.